As you start to grow as a Twitch streamer, it's extremely important to take precautions to protect you and your channel. And as you start to grow, you're gonna see that people don't have your best interest in mind. So taking the proper steps to protect you and your account and your community is vitally important. And I'm gonna show you how, let's go. Hey, it's me, it's Wild coming at you for my stream support playlist where I bring you the best tips and tricks. And if this is your first time here and you wanna learn how to grow and improve your stream, make sure you hit that big red subscribe button and tick that bell so you know when my videos go live for you. As you start to become bigger and better, people are gonna try to take advantage of you or even your community. And taking the proper steps to protect them is gonna be important. Thus, your first step you should do right now if you haven't done it already, is activate two-factor authentication. This is gonna protect you and your channel by adding an extra barrier so that way people can't try to steal your channel or your stream key or any type of particular important information that you've exposed on Twitch. In setting up two-factor authentication, it's like the simplest thing to do on Twitch. Log in under your account, go to the cogwheel for settings, and then go over to privacy and security. And from there, you can turn on two-factor authentication. And what this does, as soon as you log into Twitch, it's gonna ask for another barrier of entry, which is gonna ask for a particular code through a company called Authy. Now, Authy isn't the best, and for me, it only works about 50% of the time, but when it works, it just streamlines you into your own account. But generally, what you'll have to do is tell it to send you a text message with generally a five or six digit code that you just enter in and you're put in. I actually prefer the text message version over everything because obviously that's only associated to me, which means it's gonna be the best barrier for protection for you out there. And if you haven't done two-factor authentication, please, please do it right now. Better safe than sorry. Protecting you is important, but also protecting your community is just as important. And as you start to become bigger and better, you're gonna notice or start to notice people are gonna start making accounts that look exactly like yours. And what people do with these is one, they try to essentially become your channel by stealing your stream key or other vital parts of information, but you'll start to notice or you'll start to see that people try to act like you and message other people like your moderators for personal information or behind the scenes kind of facts about you, or they'll message people in your community pretending to be you to get other things like perhaps donations or PayPal sending funds or any type of personal information. And it's all not good stuff. You would be surprised at how many people duplicate accounts trying to be you. Let's take a look at my friend Paint with Jade, who is an awesome creative streamer on Twitch. I recommend checking her out. She's a boatload of fun. But I bet you she doesn't even know how many people have duplicated her account. If I go to the top of the bar in her channel here and I simply start typing in her name, you will see it auto-generate names that are similar. And a lot of them are her name, but even more so, you will see people have ripped her picture and used it as her actual profile picture on Twitch. And that's where people try to take advantage of you and your community. Now, if you start to see any of these duplicated account or hack accounts, there's not really much you can do other than the fact of logging into your channel, go to these fake channels and report them to Twitch support. Eventually Twitch will purge these accounts, but it seems like Twitch only purges accounts about two or three times a year. So eventually they will fall off. But I always like to inform my community to make sure it is always me that they're talking to because you never know who might be trying to take advantage of them. Bonus time, if you want a fun little tip that's gonna add a little giggle to your life after you've been streaming on Twitch for a little bit, it's fun to actually go up to the browse function and start typing in your name, but don't finish it. And you will start to see all the people that have taken time out of their day to make a name that looks exactly like yours or versions of it. You'd be surprised at some of the ones that you find. I apparently assume that some losers out there have nothing better to do. But hey, it at least gives you a good laugh. If you guys like these type of quick tips, you know what to do, smash that subscribe button and also like and share it with all of your friends. And if you wanna continue your education, need more tips, don't be afraid to visit over to insidecreator.com where I've got a host of guides and lessons that'll help you be bigger and better. If you wanna help support me and this channel, you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram. And if you like what you see here, you're definitely gonna like what you see on over at twitch.tv slash wildforgames where you can even hit that almighty subscribe button. I will see you all in my next stream support video coming out real soon. Take care, all. Peace.